Hi, my name is Stephanie Rublitz. Welcome back to my channel. If you're joining me for the first time, I have been on a one-year mission to completely transform, remake, refashion my entire wardrobe. The only problem is it's taking forever. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about how to get some sewing done faster by using batching. Okay, so from major manufacturing to baking Christmas cookies, I'm sure most of us are familiar with the concept of batching, of doing a whole bunch of one thing at the same time because it's faster. And it's faster because the more you do something repetitively, your muscle memory sort of takes over, you get more efficient, um, and it just, all around, it works out to be faster. So how can we apply this to our sewing? Well, maybe you already do this after a fashion. Maybe, you know, if you have a few things that you want to sew, you might do all your pattern cutting and do all your fabric cutting all in one day so that you have stacks of projects ready to sew. Um, today, we're going to take it one step further, and we are going to talk about how to batch entire garments. So maybe not super practical for those one-offs, like that, that dress for a special occasion, or, you know, maybe a bathing suit or something like that. But for things like wardrobe staples, tank tops, activewear, even bras, underwear, for sure underwear, batching can be a fantastic way to cut down on the amount of time it's taking to get those garments done. So the pattern that I'm going to be working with today is the Victory Tank from Chalk and Notch. It is the one that I'm wearing right now. And it's one of two that I made at the same time. This tank pattern retails for $12 and I will link it below. I'm not affiliated at this time. I get nothing if you click the link. I just think it's a cool pattern. There are two views to this pattern. One has sort of a V cut in the front and a keyhole cutout in the back. Um, because I wanted to do batching though, I made both of my tank tops the same view, which was view A. One thing I do want to say though, if you are going to try this method of um, filling out those staples in your wardrobe and do batching, I used a pattern that I had already tested. I had already made my adjustments, I had already added the extra width to accommodate for my broad shoulders, I had already added the extra length, I already knew that this pattern was going to work for me. So either make sure that you do a muslin first or use a pattern that you've already used that you already know that you like and you've already done any pattern adjustments to make sure that it fits you properly because in this process you really don't have time for that. It already has to be a pattern that you know is going to fit you. All right, as I said, I'm using a pattern that I already know fits me. I've added my extra length to it already. I've done any pattern adjustments that I need. I've also added just a tiny bit in the front to um, give me a little bit of extra ease in my straps at the front. No, tip number two is use fabrics that are close in color palette. So much so that you can use the same color of thread. So I've got this black and it's super cute. It's got like sort of some see-through um, more sheer uh, polka dots um, that my lining will show through. So I've got sort of that wine colored lining for the inside. For the other one, I have sort of a burgundy on the outside and a chocolate brown on the inside. I've pre-filled three bobbins so that if I run out of bobbin thread, I'm not gonna have to stop to refill my bobbins. Tip number four is layer your fabric to cut as many pieces at once as you can. So here I've got the lining for both shirts and I'm layering it so that my sort of slipperier fabric is on top so I can really keep an eye on that. And I'm matching the folded edges. Unfortunately, um, it kind of went out of the shot a little bit, but I'm putting some pins in those folded edges just to make sure that they are going to stay exactly right on top of each other. When you're cutting multiple layers of fabric like this, this is a really good time to make sure that you have a fresh blade in your rotary cutter. I much prefer using rotary cutter for this um, as opposed to scissors because when you use scissors you sort of have to lift the fabric and with all those layers it's just far too easy for things to shift on you. And I'll be the first one to admit that I am not the best at cutting rounded edges with my rotary cutter but I just take my time and honestly on the straight edges I still use my ruler just to help guide me a little bit. I'm making sure that I put pins on the folded edges again to really secure my pattern to the fabric. And I'm also gonna put some pins on the strap. The rest of the pattern, I can just put pattern weights on and that'll be good enough. All right, here you see I have both layers of my lining and both layers of my fashion fabric are all cut out and it was done super fast. Tip number five is sewing in a chain. So I've sewn my first um, back seam together 
and I'm going to go on to my next fabric. I'm not taking time to pull the first one out. I'm not leaving tails on my threads. I'm just stopping when I get to the end of the first piece of fabric and starting the next one. So as you can see, they're just sort of chained together. And number one, you actually end up over the long haul, you save quite a bit of thread in not pulling out tails on every single one. Um, and you save time because all you have to do is one little snip between each layer of fabric. And there you go, you, pull, you snip your chain apart and all your trimming is done. Tip number six is batch as many jobs as you can. So I went through and I chain stitched all of my back seams together. Then I went through and I finished all of my edges. Now I'm going through and I am ironing all of those seams. Once I've done this, I will go through and I will pin all my front and backs together. Well, there you have it. That's how I sewed two tank tops at once. And it was so much faster than doing them separately. Um, just even the chain stitching, um, not having to pull your threads out every time, having less threads to trim, like all that stuff. It just makes so much of a difference. And you wouldn't think that it would, but it all adds up. So I hope that you'll give this a try. If you do, let me know in the comments, or if you're eager to try it, let me know. Um, I would be thrilled to hear from you. Make sure you do all the things, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time.